Good evening. Welcome to the Aetna Township Board of Trustees special meeting Wednesday, February 9th, 2022 at 6.02 p.m. I call this meeting to order. Uh, please stand for the invocation, Mr. Johnson. Would like to buy your hands and Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for the safety of our, our citizens. And thank you for the safety of our drivers. Cloud that beautiful snow you gave us off the roads. I pray that you'd be with us tonight. You'd be with those who protect us, keep our country free, and you'd be with those missing, or those family members who miss their loved ones that are away protecting us. Amen. 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 Following the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, uh, roll call please. Mr. Johnson? Here. Mr. Evans? Here. Ms. McKee? Here. All right, uh, I will move to uh, adopt the agenda as presented. Is there a second? Uh, second. All right, Mr. Johnson seconds. Uh, roll call please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Evans? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. All right, uh, public comments limited to five minutes. If you have any, uh, you can come up, state your name and address. Uh, because it is a special meeting, it has to be uh, on the agenda topics. All right, no public comments. Um, now I call, uh, I'll move to go into executive session, uh, ORC 121-22G4, preparing for conducting or reviewing negotiations or bargaining sessions with public employees concerning their compensation or other terms and conditions of their employment. Uh, and this is uh, in regards to the representation uh, for the CERB collective bargaining negotiations. Uh, and also to consider the appointment, uh, appointment uh, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employer official uh, under ORC 12122G1. Uh, and that is in regards to the employee uh, we're considering for the assistant uh, zoning inspector. Uh, is there a second? Second. Mr. Johnson seconds. Uh, roll call, please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Ms. Mr. McKee, Mr. Evans. Yes. Mrs. McKee. Yes. That's uh, 604 going into executive session. And we'll be right out with that. We'll try to be as brief as possible. Yes, we need it. All right, we'll back. Uh, I'll make a motion to exit executive session back into uh, the special meeting. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Ms. McKee seconds. Roll call, please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Evans? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. It is 6.31 p.m. Uh, so, I don't know which one. Well, I guess we'll deal with the, do you want to deal with the assistant zoning first or the CERB? Uh, first one of us. Well, okay. Well, I guess, yeah, Assistant Zoning Inspector, Old Business, Job Description, Hybrid Position. Uh, we discussed before the need for Mr. Johnson to have some assistance. He's been getting that assistance. Uh, prior to, what was that? Singleton. Singleton. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, Singleton. Um, and uh, so since he's been working about two days out of the week uh, there, um, so I, I provided the job description for the assistant zoning inspector. It's dated 2922 draft uh, in conjunction with uh, Mr. Singleton's uh, advice for some uh, additions and, and deletions in there. Uh, did you get a chance to look at that final copy of what I moved around? Mm -hmm. The only thing that, that didn't change was you had indicated to remove the direction and work under the direction of Doherty. I felt that was necessary because if you're if the zoning inspector is absent, others need to be able to direct him by 
that's where it was inserted the ZF. Zoning inspector shall be the uh, assistant zoning inspector's immediate supervisor. And then if there's any conflicting orders or directives, the zoning inspector is the one that determines portion action. Okay. And then again, uh, the correction you wanted for who is the immediate supervisor, I took it off the list and put it in the supervisor section. Added, which is now number 12, uh, being pro proficient in the various computer software and programs and such. Uh, deleted, I think it was former number seven, uh, that dealt with, yes. out of, that was for a different like home rule um, township. And then uh, added the and hearings on the current number two of uh, attend various meetings after that. And then you did not have any any other input for the other ones? Does the board have any uh, questions, comments, uh, additions, deletions they'd like to propose? The only thing I have, would it be, would it be anything like that that the, that the uh, assistant would have to be knowledgeable uh, that what we call a lot more insurable? Can we add that in there? That's all I thought of. Uh, duties, uh, minimum qualifications. Uh, so number four uh, shall be bondable. Is that sufficient? Yeah, that, that's not good. Okay. So adding under desired minimum qualifications shall be bondable. Mrs. McKee? Yes. Any, any oh, order? sorry. Um, no. John, any other input or Mr. Future Assistant Zoning Inspector, any input on your possible future position? No. Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, we're just working on the description right now, not your appointment now. Uh, so, all right, I will move to uh, accept uh, the Assistant Zoning Inspector, uh, job description, uh, adding uh, under desired minimum qualifications, number four shall be bondable, um, and the rest as presented. Uh, is there a second? I second. Ms. McKee seconds. Is discussion? Roll call, please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Cummins? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. All right, that passes. And now, uh, along with that, the hybrid position. Um, and we could discuss after we do this, but I'd move to appoint Stephen Chalou to a hybrid position of road crew and assistant zoning inspector. This appointment shall be temporary and may change at the direction of the board. The combined duties shall maintain a full-time status for the employee. The rate of pay shall remain for the same for both classifications unless otherwise changed by the board. The time devoted between the two positions shall be determined and approved by the zoning supervisor and road crew supervisor. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, Mr. Johnson seconds. Discussion? Do you have any questions? If you want to read it. Yeah. I give it to her session. Well, no, I'm saying if you have more, because that there's a lot of words that you want yeah, to Yeah, okay. If yeah. you want to give me questions. Well, if you bet what was on there. That's what I heard. Yep. And, I, and I did temporary because maybe we'll make it full time. And so until we change it, then we, we can do that. Does that sound yep. your input? Yes, it's just Okay. Um, <laughs> so roll call, please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Evans? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. Because All right, so that was approved. Uh, then under new business, uh, serve uh, State Employees Relations Board, Road Crew Unionization, and Legal Representation. Uh, we have uh, before us a contract by Fischl, Downey, Albright, and Rippenhoff uh, for representation to uh, deal with employment matters, including this uh, collective bargaining negotiation. Uh, so I would, here's a resolution. I move to approve resolution 22-02-09-1, 
resolution to execute the contract agreement between Etna Township and Fishel, Downey, Albrecht, and Ripon. Um, do I have to read all the whereas in that? No. Okay. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Mr. Key seconds. Uh, discussion? Whatever we direct them to, whatever rules, but I, I we, 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 they're experienced in negotiating, negotiating, and uh, so I think they, they will take the lead. But again, it's directed by us, um, and there it is uh, capped this approval at uh, not to exceed twenty thousand dollars and two hundred dollars an hour, and we will be able to monitor that it is billed monthly, so we can take the. Keep an eye on expenses. How, how long is this for? Uh, this is until we terminate. So, so it can be 10 years? So, and as long as it's open, they can terminate it, uh, we can terminate it. So no, no termination date on it. No, no, no. So if, if we, if once we want to stop uh, the representation, we can stop. Okay. So it, it doesn't tie us into anything. There's no retainer. Okay. So it's not like we're, we're forwarding money. It's just work, build is worked. Okay. Uh, any other? Discussion. All right. Roll call, please. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Evans. Yes. Ms. McKee. Yes. All right. Passes. And then on that, um, we uh, probably should have a point person uh, to deal with this law firm and then the negotiation and the issues. Uh, you want to make a motion on that or? Discussion. I mean, I guess uh, if we want to follow Robert's rules, we can make a motion and then discuss. Uh, Are you looking for one of us? What about one of us? Well, because well, someone's going to have to be a point person with the attorney. We can't have three trustees giving the attorney well, three different things. Right. We can discuss it as a board, but I think it should go to $200 an hour. If you got three people asking the same question, you just triple pay. Oh, I know. And, and even through the, I, I think it should be the same person initially, and then through the negotiations and through, uh, through that, um, I would say that it, it probably better to have the supervisor. And again, I'm not sure if the previous motion to replace the supervisor is still going to be on the table, so that might change it. I mean, we could always change who the rep is. So I'm not sure where the board wants to go with this. Yeah, you probably, probably should point somebody on that. Um, and it could change. I was going to ask about that when we were voting on it, but you, you brought that up. So. Yeah, I wanted it separate because it wasn't yeah. in the resolution. And, and, and then we could change it if we want to change what we're there. Um, <clears throat> and this is, this is for the. Uh, it's just a motion. I mean, we already yeah. passed, passed this, we've got the representation. It's just who's who's going to be the point person to deal with the attorney, and then uh, we can decide too that they're going to be the ones. Whoever's dealing with them, I think, should follow it through to the end with the collective bargaining agreement, the contracts, the all that. And I don't know if the board wants it to be a supervisor that works with them, wants it to be a different person, right. wants it to be. I know Mrs. McKee has. She said she has some experience with the unions. I don't. I don't know where the board wants to go with this. I'm more than happy to do it, but if somebody else feels like they should do it, that's why I'm leaving the motion. Yeah, I can, absolutely, if you would like to do it. I would, yeah, I would, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll make a motion to point. Roslyn? <coughs> As the point person? As the point person for this. For the collective uh, bargaining. And can our um, plays on to the players that we just hired? Okay, I'll uh, second that. And we already have a discussion, unless there's further discussion. Yeah. And you're okay? I am absolutely okay. All right, roll call, please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Evans? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. And that passes. Um, where are we at? I have a. Wait, did we skip the uh, hybrid position? Or no, did we do that? 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, we, we got it in there. Um, I think I'll this sheet. So. And, uh, all right, I motion, I uh, move to adjourn. Second. Mr. Johnson seconds. Roll call, please. Mr. Johnson? Yes. Mr. Evans? Yes. Ms. McKee? Yes. All right, and we are closed at 6.43 p.m. <laughs>